So uh, it's going to be a little bit different than, than usual. I'm not just going to upload one song. Uh, I'm going to do kind of a little mini concert here. Uh, I'm going to kind of run through some of the songs I've been learning recently and um, maybe talk a little bit about them. So uh, this first one is called Threes Take Three. Uh, and it's a parody written by Bob Konefsky of a song that was written by Mercedes Lackey with help from Leslie Fish. Uh, I hope I have that right. Uh, but anyway, it's a little bit of a witch and wizard sort of um, uh, tale. In a bankruptcy at last it can be told A witch and an assassin hatch plan to get some gold They hire several guardsmen but if all goes as they plan They'll never have to pay them, they'll be slaughtered to a man Three holes in their contracts, termination for no cause No workman's compensation and no life insurance clause Disguised as honest women, then they haggle and cajole. A payment from a businessman who's first and foremost goal is vengeance for a daughter lost in one of the attacks. Eight figures he'll deduct it when the king collects his tax. Three aren't what they seem a guard who guards a secret plot. The lady who's the lady and the maiden who is not. Guardsman drips with gems of costly size. The witch perceives he also wears a magical disguise. You might think this alone would be a giveaway right there, but they're too busy plotting out their strategy to care. Three things are no fun, the answer right before your eyes. A poker hand that's folded and a fight where no one dies. From ambush as expected, bandits sworn to claim their prize. The maiden has a mercenary gleam in her cold eyes. The lady does her nails while all her guardsmen's blood is spilled. They cannot prove their innocence except by being killed. Three things are most perilous, a victim with a grin. A secret you're not in on and a test you cannot win. Watches hopelessly throughout the whole attack Then hacks up half the hoodlums with one hand behind her back The lady makes a gesture and the other half are fried The guardsmen gesture back as they lie dying on the side Three things never count on when your life is on the line A sword with rust, a bow with cracks, and a woman's sense of time which decides what shape the traitor's punishment will be. Her positive self-image is revealed for all to see. The worst thing she could think of's not a new or or toad. She turns him into a woman and then sets him on the road. Three things that you'll never find, a hen's tooth on a goose, a woman's sense of humor, and chameleons you turn loose. Step to justice, lure to grab the guards in doubt. Then butcher the whole bunch and let the goddess sort them out. They spare a few set glances at the low men cut down. And then they count their booty and run laughing back to town. Three survive unscathed, the mage whose sword knows every trick. The fighter who's a cleric, the guard who called in sick. So, <clears throat> we're going to stick with parodies for the first couple of songs here, uh, and then we're going to get into some more, uh, more serious material. This is another one written by Bob Konefsky, uh, and this one's for all you computer programmers out there. I, I'm not a programmer, but I grew up with all my dad's, like, C++ and, you know, programming books up on the shelf uh, in the late 80s and into the 90s. Um, and so this is uh, Bob Konefsky's parody of Julia Eklar's song, God Lives on Terra, uh, and this is called The Eternal Flame. I was 
guitar assembler in my second year of school. It's kind of like construction work with a toothpick for a tool. When I made my senior year, I threw my coat away. I learned the way to program that I still prefer today. Now some folks on the internet put their faith in C++. I swear that it's so powerful, it's what God used. And maybe it lets mortals dredge their objects from the sea. But I think that explains why only God can make a tree. For God wrote in list code when he filled the leaves with green. I've seen and when I ponder snowflakes never finding to the same I know God likes a language with its own for I've used the sun under Unix, so I've seen what C can hold. I've surfed the pearls found before transfer, got the Java stuff down cold. Though the chance that I'd write COBOL code is a snowball's chance in hell. And I basically hate hieroglyphs, so I won't use API. God must know all these languages and a few I haven't named. The Lord made sure when each sparrow falls that its flesh will be reclaimed. And the Lord could not count grains of sand with a 30 cubit word. Who knows what we would go to if the list weren't what he to a spaceman uh, and and for all that it may come across as being kind of silly it's genuinely a very nice song um, about self-sacrifice and pride and all that sort of stuff so Yeah. 
and the rocket ship blasts from Terra in its flight. His first cry is drowned by the engines roar in the cradle, it didn't lie. He did send Tara by the time he was four, go hiding when he was nine. Born as a spaceman in a spaceman's bed, and as a spaceman he would die. He learned every course that a ship could take, but a few more on the side. They learned new tricks every stop they'd make with the engines he would ride. The spacer's pride was his swagger stick, his pride knew he could survive. He lived as a spaceman from the day he was born, and as a spaceman he would die. They headed for diverse up in his trading years when he just turned 34. The captain planned on a mighty pay after running a load of ore. The engine room gave him all they had, but the captain ordered more. They pumped him up to their hottest gain just to hear the rockets roar. Five hundred miles by the planet's ground, the engines died away. The captain called, we need power now, or we'll all die today. Spaceman said, all the boys are dead, I'm not far behind. Old much more than she's meant to take in the baffled Avalon line. The captain said, well, do something, man. The spaceman smiled wide. So I pulled the plates down with my bare hands. We can't do nothing but enjoy the ride. But the ground flew up with destructive speed, and the spaceman knew his mind. He couldn't sit in the engine room and wait for his friends to die. So he turned and put his hand inside where the engines used to glow. He found the plates and he held them fast to quits, no way to go. The rocket shook with a mighty roar, the engines they did cry. And the spaceman smiled in the engines glow, for as a spaceman he would die. engine room, other station, they did lie. The spaceman with his hands on a baffle plate was still sitting where he died. They took him out, gave him to the stars, not a single spaceman cried. For spacemen in the stars do live, and the stars they long to die. The spaceman's life for his men did give, and the stars wouldn't let him lie. As a spaceman from the day he was born, and as a spaceman he would die. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna stick in the uh, we're gonna stay in the uh, spacey science fiction world here for a second. And we're gonna do one. This is uh, I learned this from a recording of Julia Eklar, uh, but it's Anne Passavoy's uh, parody of an Irish song called Johnny Be Fair. Uh, this is called Starship Unity. Um. Me daddy is the skipper of the liner Unity. Me and mama live in board the Baron Company. Well, I am out of nature, I am anxious for to wed. I must choose a crew and who will win approval from me dad. Johnny's fine and wants me for to wed And I would marry Johnny but me father up and said I hate to tell your daughter what your mother never knew Young technical mess is a son of mine and so he's kin to you Well Jimmy's fine with shiny scales and sweet as he can be And I would marry Jimmy but me father said to me I hate to tell your daughter what your mother never knew Young hatchling is an egg of mine and so he's kin to you Zarin's fine and nine feet tall and covered with purple hair. And I would marry Zarin, but me father said beware. I hate to tell you, daughter dear, but it's the same old tale. And remember when what does Ma look like? I'm not sure he's a male. Well, Billy's light and mostly air and rather hard to see. At least it doesn't look as if he's any kin to me. I said as much to father who said, darling, don't be flipped. And never under 
underestimate the captain of the ship. I'll be the first to say me father's life has not been dull. I'm probably related to the mice within the hall. I note a certain likeness to the servo robot crew. To the seven the starboard life puts on the ship's computer too. Was ever there a maiden in so sad a fix as this? If all me father says is true, I'll die a single miss. For everyone my love on board is my own brother true. I'll go to me mother and I'll ask her what to do. Tidier and tiny girl and comb your hair so blue. I've taught you that a skipper is a father to his crew. He's doubtless ladies female in the galaxy and still. He's not the critter that fathered you, so marry who you will. <laughs> Alright, so um Another one I came across recently. This is uh, some of these I learned from the. There's a there's an album on Spotify called Roundworm, and uh, it's a collection of Bob Konevsky's parodies, uh, being performed by some really truly amazing talented artists uh, who are criminally uh, underknown. Um, uh, and uh, so, uh, and Shannon, something I can't remember her name right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, but this is uh, called Nobody's Moggy Lands, and it's a parody of the Eric Bogle, San, well, Eric Bogle song, No Man's Land. Uh, no Man's Land is also known as Greenfields of France. It's a very sentimental, uh, powerful anti-war song. Um, and, and so um, it's, <laughs> it's... I've listened to it a few times. Uh, to stop laughing long enough to try to learn how to sing it uh, and memorize the lyrics because uh, I think it's absolutely hilarious uh, and uh, so here we go well how do you do old Moggy the cat I just noticed you landed where I almost sat Do you mind if I push you a bit to the side I've been driving all day on the road where you died You've been squashed like some butterfly pressed between glass Were you hit by a truck that was moving too fast Did he slam on the brake as he saw you go past Or Moggy the cat Did he step on the gas Did he honk the horn loudly Did you stand your ground proudly Did a shadow fall on you As the truck mowed you down Did your eyes glow in that fleeting darkness Did the birds come and pick up your car Brown squirrels and mice all seem happy today. The butterflies frolic and the hummingbirds play. A mockingbird sits there composing a dirge till he finally yields to his scavenger urge. The robins and sparrows all join in the feast in the joyous relief that the terror Like the munchkins danced over the witch of the east. Did he honk the horn loudly? Did you stand your ground proudly? Did a shadow fall over you as the truck mowed you down? Did your eyes glow in that fleeting darkness? Did the birds come and pick at your carcass? Old Moggy. I still wonder why Your roadkill looks so damn surprised when you die Do you think that some animal spirit survives? Did you really believe that you cats have nine lives? Well, if that is true, this is life number ten Getting ever more flat 
spinning round now and then as the cars run you over again and again and again and again and again and again Lady honk the horn loudly did you stand your ground proudly did a shadow fall on you as the truck mowed you down did your eyes glow in that fleeting darkness did the birds come and pick at your carcass did your eyes glow in that fleeting darkness did the birds come and pick at your carcass We're gonna do a so this next song. Um, uh, I found this song on an album by Kathy Marr. Uh, it's called "My Favorite Sings" is the name of the album, um, and it's her favorite songs. Uh, it's the only recording, uh, daddy, and it's the only album of Kathy Marr's that I can find on Spotify. Um, I re regretfully have not gone digging for as much as I should. Uh, but this song, um, it's not her song. It's uh, it was written by a guy named Doug MacArthur. Uh, he's a Canadian fella uh, who worked with Garnet Rogers uh, and uh, also worked with Stan Rogers, which is like folk folk circles um, 101 right there because I've been a huge fan of Stan Rogers material for decades. Uh, and... And so to find somebody I've never heard before that shares a, a connection to them um, through song and through inspiration um, is really neat. I enjoy that. Um, uh, in a way, like learning about, like when you find music you like and you learn the musicians that they like um, and you find out that you like a lot of the same musicians, it's kind of like... Uh, uh, knowing you're not alone, uh, in a way, but I digress. Uh, I'm going to try to finger pick this. I'm not a good finger picker, but I'm going to try. Uh, this is called Merlin, uh, and it's sort of an alternative telling of the Ar Arthurian legend, uh, and in this version, um, essentially Merlin's like branded a heretic, uh, for the favor of Guinevere. And Arthur imprisons him in a crystal cave, uh, and a prophecy foretells his return one day. Uh, and so this is sort of about him uh, getting ready for that return. It's not so dark in the cave tonight, just over there there's a crack of light. Tomorrow is the day I heard the voices coming through the wall They're digging for a brand new shopping mall I'm just knocked off for the day It's late at night and the stars are deep I'm okay, I don't need sleep I've been sleeping for quite some time Ready to dance with the devil's daughter I don't need to walk on water When I know that I can run on wine There's voices humming through the ground Spirits kick old bones around the wind picks up again The ocean roars, it's time to wait The lion roars at heaven's gate Forest people call my name they Call me names I never understood I am a spirit of the wind and the wood I am the name and the writing on the wall I don't know when and I don't know how And I do know I'm much stronger now And I wouldn't have woke if I hadn't heard you call I remember the day they put me here, the workmen wrapped in mass of fear, slowly rolling in the stone. They nailed my hands to a rowan tree, they burned my body and they blighted me, they buried me here alone. Arthur kissed my bloodied eyes, said he will live, 
we will die, but you will harm nobody here. Over her shoulder, high on the hill, I see her laughing, waiting still. Lovely Gwen of Arthur cursed when he saw my smile. The sun went dark and the wind went wild. He put me in this place. For years I slept in this holy park, slowly healing in the dark. I can hardly wait to see that workman's face. Cool. So, uh, so that was one that Kathy Marr covered for an album of hers. Now we're going to do one that Kathy Marr wrote that was covered by somebody else. Uh, so, so this next song is called Shai Halud, and uh, it was written about uh, Dune, uh, presumably around the time of, if not before, the original film. Uh, in the 80s um, and uh, and not not the remakes although me learning finding the song and learning it is kind of serendipitous with the fact that the remake uh, the part two of the remake of uh, the Dune movie uh, is out recently so but uh, you can find a recording a couple of recordings of this performed by Julia Eklar uh, Kathy Marr wrote it though um, but I think it's a fantastic song it's really fun to sing I enjoy it a lot. Um, I roll up my sleeves, or I'm getting sweaty now. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna get the 
12 string. And we're gonna do a couple others over there. All right, so this next one uh, is a, a Leslie Fish song. Uh, at least I'm pretty 99% sure it's all hers. Uh, it's called Berserker. Um, and it's sort of a, a first, little bit of a first person introspective from the point of view of one of these uh, men from the ancient days who, who knows what demon lies inside him. Uh, although I like to think that some of us in the modern day still have that, um, so I, I can kind of understand it. Uh, Hi, Gongo, what's up, buddy? What, you can go eat, you got food. I'm, I'm recording, you know. <laughs> can also be found on Prometheus Music. Um, so if you want to go, I think it's Prometheus-music.com online, um, but you can also just search any of these artists and you'll find links that go right back to uh, Prometheus, their page, uh, the Bandcamp pages, uh, and other outlets for this music. Um. All right, we're going to another Leslie Fish. Another one by Leslie Fish. Uh, I really like anti-war songs um i wouldn't consider myself like a protest folk singer but i strongly identify with them um uh, because i believe in the message um and so this is called the sun is also a warrior Walk on a beach in the sun. One left footprints, the 
other left none. One was a man that no man obeyed, the other a god from the ancient days. Said the man, how my kind make war. I summon you here to ask what for, for wealth or land, the god replies for life or freedom, or some king's lies. The sun is also a leader. Knowledge can also destroy, nor can the kindest will preserve the the kill. The fall of wisdom brings joy. For of those five, the first one said, are not enough to appease the dead. To save my world, all this strife must cease. So now I bid you to conjure peace. The god said yes, so it grieves me sore. For I was also a god of war. And I remember what you forget. For of those five, you may still regret. The sun is also a leader. Knowledge can not Ventured an angry word, no hands struck and no weapons stirred. In time, the man called the old god back. He said what my people lack. One Lord rules over all the earth. We're all his slaves from the hour of birth. The sun is also warrior. Knowledge can also destroy. Nor can the kindest will preserve it from the kill. And he owns all land. We starve and die under his command. He speaks the truth and he gives us peace. But all that I hope for is our release. Said the God, this is what you will. For only thus is your wish fulfilled. For by sources I took away. Yet I will give four of the back. Fish called Hope I Re, and then we're going to do one uh, performed by Leslie Fish after that that she didn't write. 
track of Leslie Fish's Avalon Has Risen album. Uh, there's two versions of it, one with uh, uh, other musicians playing and one where it's just her and the guitar. That's my favorite, honestly. Like, one person finger-picking the shit out of a 12-string guitar and singing uh, folk, kind of folk tunes is really kind of my jam. Um, so she didn't write this one. Um, to my knowledge, uh, uh, but this is a uh, this is a song about the rise of uh, of um, uh, neo pagan religions and uh, kind of a restoration in the interest and in practice in ancient religions. Um,
Hail the day so long expected when the gates are open wide. Magic gold and new collected have restored the ancient pride. Through a fairy's wide dominion, hear the trumpet swoop and swore. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen. Avalon is risen to fall no more. All of us now stand in wonder as our vision come to pass. Old Earth Mother and God of Thunder, Huntress Weaver, join the dance. While the sound of joyous laughter, hear immortal voices roar. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen, Avalon is risen to fall no more. Some had thought that all their hating had sent her beneath the waves. Avalon was only waiting for her folk will not be slaves. Now the day of freedom's dawning, bring them back forevermore. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen. Avalon is risen to fall no more. Hark all ye in dead and bowers, and has come another time. Ruling with a rod of flowers, giving us the bliss sublime. Prayer and prayer now shall guide us, lead us be our counselor. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen, Avalon is risen to fall no more. Listen, warriors of the old gods, as the wild hunts horn does sound. On all their work shall fall before us, and the evil ones be bound. Raise the shield of bright Athena, swing the hammer of great Thor. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen, Avalon is risen to fall no more. Hear me now, each tree and men, preach, come and go, keep plumbing too. Priest and priestess, poet, bunny, moon master and shaman true. All your fate is now rewarded, prophets of the ancient lore. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen, Avalon is risen to fall no more. Some of us shall yet go a sailing through the void so deep and far. They will come with a sudden failing, plant the seeds from star to star. Hear our children's children's voices, join with those from days of yore. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen, Avalon is risen to fall no more. Avalon is risen, is risen, is risen, Avalon is risen to fall no more. Thanks for sticking around. Um, I'm good with